So obviously set up ChatGPT, log in, all good, easy peasy. So if I get into what the action actually entails, so the first thing I have in here is I'm going to be including in the user message the details of the, the person and the company. Now, for this example, I'm going to be really just not using any kind of personal information. Like you see, I don't have, you know, the email address in here, phone number or anything like that. I don't think you particularly need it. Um, there are some concerns about, you know, utilizing uh, OpenAI for anything that requires a lot of data privacy or anything like that. So kind of tread carefully and make sure you're doing things in, in the way that's going to be protecting um data in the best and most, most secure way um, but including just the company name the website industry number of employees and just a title I think it's pretty safe for this use case so within the assist assistant instructions I am now detailing out what I want um, the AI to do so first off I'm going to give it a description of kind of who it is uh, this is if you look into any prompt engineering or any um, content around how to write the best prompts. They always tell you to kind of give the AI a persona to act like. So I'm saying you're a predictive lead scoring engine for B2B tech companies that scores leads based on their propensity to buy and their fit as a potential customer. I don't go on to explain our product. I've made up a product here, but it's a tech product that tracks the B2B funnel and life cycle to give advanced analytics for the marketing and sales team. And then now I'm giving the ideal fit. So the first bit up here, target personas so with marketing managers all the way to leadership salespeople, leadership positions revenue and marketing operations professionals and leaders the icp b2b tech companies um and then giving it some extra information here so strictly focused on scoring leads b2b tech companies if a lead is from a non-tech company significantly reduce the score to reflect our primary focus on b2b tech um, use your knowledge about well-known companies to fill in missing data points if possible this is important later on i'll tell you in a bit if the company is not well known and the industry is missing, reduce the score to account for the uncertainty. I've added seniority in here is important. Uh, if we're whoever better fit with employee size over 1,000. And then, um, you know, just also just consider these pain points of my product. Now, you could give way more information than this, way less. This is just an example. But you can see how kind of the natural language of this is me just kind of putting down this information. You know, the alternative is if you're going to build this all over yourself and you're in marketing automation platform, you've got to go through and like, okay, this is how much score I want to give to this specific title or this specific industry or this specific seniority. And then go through, give all of those scores, think about all of the ways that, you know, that title could be spelled and then get all of the contains filters. Like a lot of effort is to go in to something like this to be able to get um, a decent output. Whereas here, you know, a few paragraphs and I'm giving... Um, I'm giving the AI the information that it needs to give me a score back. I then ask to format the response back, giving me a score, and then reasoning one, reasoning two, reasoning three. So what I love about this is we get the score, but one of the big issues with scoring, whether it's something that you're creating in your marketing automation platform, or if it's something that you are using maybe a third party to give some kind of score based on propensity to buy, is the, the, the black box nature of it. It's always the biggest issue. Sales gets the lead, they wonder why the score is X, Y, Z, and they just get annoyed that they don't trust the model anymore. So this is giving you a, the reasoning behind that score that you can then add into Salesforce for your reps to be able to see why the score was given. Uh, and also for them to maybe help optimize the model going forward, which is something that I can go into shortly. So um, we're going through the here. We go through to some of the next steps. So this is, you know, you can do this in so many different ways. This is kind of particular to Zapier. So because the response that it gets back is going to be those bullet points, right? So the first thing I want to do is extract the number so that I can get the score. And then the next thing I do is separate based on the separator of this dash to be able to create um, different data points based on each reasoning that I can then use. And you'll see if I go into the, uh, the update the lead in Salesforce, we're adding the score into here, then the three different outputs. So these are the three reasons. So let's give it a test. 
So I've created a few leads in here, four leads. The first one is Asana, Industry Tech, VP Marketing, decent number of employees. So this would obviously be a pretty good fit for the product, right? We're targeting marketing and salespeople, B2B tech companies. So let's see. So we're going to, I'm going to go through and test this um, step by step for each one as opposed to just letting the, um, the zap run. So we've got, this is the record here, Asana. Let's go through. Now let's test. All right, come back pretty quick. So this is the content back. Score of 95, Asana is a well-known B2B company with a large employee size, VP of marketing, indicates a decision maker, and that Asana's industry is known for its ICP increasing the score. So now if I go down through some of these other steps, pulled out the, the score, pulled out the reasoning, updated Salesforce. All right, let's go have a look at our record. Score of 95 and the reasoning. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good job. It understood the B2B side, the B2B tech. Um, it underst under understood the, um, the seniority of the decision maker. The fact that they would benefit from advanced analytics, that's a nice touch actually. Um, and then obviously just another further clarification of the, the industry within our ICP.